When approaching a flashing red traffic light, drivers should a. Drive through the intersection if there is no crossing traffic. b. Continue driving, as they have the right of way. c. Stop if a police officer is nearby. d. Treat the light like a stop sign. d. Treat the light like a stop sign. Flashing red lights are used at dangerous intersections. Treat them like stop signs. If your brakes stop working, you should first a. Shift the car's transmission into neutral. b. Pump the brake pedal several times and try to build up brake pressure. c. Flash your lights at other traffic. d. Jump out of the vehicle immediately. b. Pump the brake pedal several times and try to build up brake pressure. If your brakes stop working, pump the brake pedal several times. This will often build up enough brake pressure to allow you to stop. This sign shows one type of A. Right turn B. Intersection C. Lane change D. Road curve B. Intersection This sign indicates that AT intersection is ahead. This sign means A. Watch for bicycles. B. Bicycles not allowed. C. Bicycle repair shop ahead. D. Bicycles have the right of way. A. Watch for bicycles. This sign provides advance warning that bicycles may be present. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. By law, your vehicle's headlights must be turned on from A. 1 hour after sunset until 1 hour before sunrise. B. 1 hour before sunset until 1 hour after sunrise. C. 30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise. D. 30 minutes before sunset until 30 minutes after sunrise. C. 30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise. By law, your vehicle's headlights must be turned on from a half hour after sunset until a half hour before sunrise. Distracted drivers are at a greater risk of a crash when they are using which of the following? A. CD player. B. Radio. C. Cell phone. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Using a cell phone, including a hands-free phone, or any kind of audio device, including a radio or CD player, can be a dangerous distraction and contributes to the risk of a crash. A speed limit is a. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under dangerous conditions. b. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. c. The suggested speed to travel on a road under ideal conditions. d. None of the above. b. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. A speed limit is the maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. You may drive more slowly than the posted speed, but it is illegal to drive any faster. You must drive more slowly where signs or signs indicate a school zone or work zone speed limit. If conditions such as road construction or bad weather make the posted speed unsafe, drive under the speed limit. The most effective safety restraints in a traffic crash are a. Only a lap and shoulder belt. b. Only an airbag. c. Both a lap, shoulder belt and an airbag. d. No safety restraints. c. Both a lap, shoulder belt and an airbag.
Safety belts can double your chance of surviving a crash and more than double your chance of avoiding serious injury. Airbags, when used properly with safety belts, provide additional protection in a front-end crash. You should wear both shoulder and lap belts. Road rage and aggressive driving may be reduced by a. Allowing extra travel time. b. Obeying posted speed limits. c. Using proper turn signals. d. All of the above. d. All of the above. As an increasing number of drivers populate the roadways, road rage becomes more prevalent. To help prevent road rage, a driver should use proper turn signals, obey posted speed limits, and allow plenty of travel time. You may park or stop along the shoulder of the freeway. A. As long as you turn on your four-way emergency flashers. B. If no part of your vehicle is on the road. C. If you need to look at a map for directions. D. Only if you have an emergency. D. Only if you have an emergency. It is prohibited to park on the shoulder of a freeway, except in an emergency. This road sign means? A. No right turn. B. Curve. C. Turn right or left. D. Traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. D. Traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. This one-way sign indicates that traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. Which of the following statements is true? A. A sudden change in weather calls for a change in driving. B. You should slow down when driving in rain and fog. C. Be particularly aware of vehicles coming up behind you in inclement weather. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. If the weather changes suddenly, you will need to adjust your driving to adapt. Always slow down when driving in rainy or foggy conditions. Be especially aware of vehicles behind you that may be going too fast for conditions. When approaching a school bus stopped with its stop arm extended, drivers should a. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. b. Honk their horn before passing the bus on its left. c. Continue driving when they think most kids are probably done exiting the bus. d. Pass the bus before its door opens. a. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. When approaching a stopped school bus that is using its stop signal, a driver is required to come to a complete stop. They should not proceed until the stop arm is withdrawn. A solid yellow line on your side of the center line means? A. Slow down. B. Pass with caution. C. Do not pass. D. Keep right on hills. C. Do not pass. A solid yellow line next to your lane means that passing is not permitted from your direction. Your first response to reduced visibility should be A. Turning on your headlights. B. Reducing your speed. C. Turning on your windshield wipers. D. Looking for road edge markings to guide you. B. Reducing your speed. Reducing your speed should be your first response to decreased visibility and dangerous road conditions. This sign means A. No right turn. B. You must turn right. C. Watch for traffic on your right. D. Don't park on the right side of the street. A. No right turn. A sign with a red circle and slash over a symbol indicates that the action represented by the symbol, in this example, a right turn, is not allowed.
If you experience a tire blowout? A. Take your foot of the gas. B. Do not immediately use your brakes. C. Gradually slow down and pull off the side of the road. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. If you experience a tire blowout, take your foot off the gas pedal and do not immediately apply the brakes. Gradually slow down before gently applying the brakes and pulling off the side of the road. The most important thing to remember when backing a car is to A. Look carefully behind your vehicle and yield to other vehicles and pedestrians. B. Keep one foot on the brake while backing. C. Only rely on the rearview mirror while backing. D. Keep both hands on the steering wheel. A. Look carefully behind your vehicle and yield to other vehicles and pedestrians. Before backing up, you should turn to look directly through the rear window to check for hazards. Do not rely only on your mirrors. You should look left and right and yield to any vehicles, bicyclists, or pedestrians. This sign means A. There is a detour ahead. B. You must stop for flaggers. C. The road ahead is closed to traffic. D. The highway ahead is undergoing maintenance. D. The highway ahead is undergoing maintenance. Construction and maintenance signs are orange colored and are used to notify drivers of unusual or potentially dangerous conditions in or near work areas. This sign warns drivers that they are approaching a construction zone and that they should prepare to lower their speed and drive with extraordinary caution. What is the appropriate action to take when approaching a railroad crossing that does not have signals to direct traffic? A. Always bring the car to a complete stop. B. Slow down and be prepared to stop. C. All railroad crossings have signals so you will never encounter this situation. D. Increase your speed to get across the tracks quickly. B. Slow down and be prepared to stop. When approaching an unmarked railroad crossing, slow down and be prepared to stop. Before you cross, be sure that no trains are approaching from either direction on any track. If you see or hear a train coming, stop at a safe distance from the nearest track and wait to proceed until after the train passes. Signs that are colored orange are A. Work zone signs B. Regulatory signs C. School zone signs D. Guide signs a. Work Zone Signs Highway work zones are established according to the type of work underway along the roadway. Signs in work areas are typically diamond-shaped, orange, have black letters or symbols, and serve as a warning that people are working on or near the highway. This sign means you should A. Follow a detour to the right. B. Get ready to enter a one-way street. C. Stay on the main highway if you can. D. Follow a detour to the right, but only if it's convenient. A. Follow a detour to the right. Work area signs are generally orange with black lettering or symbols. Detour signs provide drivers with an alternate route to avoid a roadway that is entirely blocked by construction. You are approaching an intersection when the traffic light changes from green to solid yellow. You should A. Consider it the same as a caution sign and continue through the intersection. B. Stop immediately. C. Stop before entering the intersection, unless you are too close to stop safely. D. Speed up to get through the intersection before the red light appears. C. Stop before entering the intersection, unless you are too close to stop safely.
When approaching an intersection with a solid yellow traffic light, slow to a stop before entering the intersection, if it is safe to do so. If you can't stop safely, drive carefully through the intersection. If you begin to feel tired while driving, the best thing to do is to A. Get some coffee. B. Open your window. C. Stop driving. D. Turn on the radio. C. Stop driving. Being fatigued while driving is similar in danger to driving under the influence of alcohol. If you begin to feel tired while driving, the best thing to do is to stop driving. A regulatory sign containing a red circle with a slash through the middle indicates a. that drivers should come to a complete stop b. that an action is forbidden c. that some drivers should yield to other drivers d. that drivers should drive under the speed limit b. that an action is forbidden Some regulatory signs prohibit certain actions. These signs are rectangular and white with red and black markings. A red circle and slash on top of a black symbol indicates that the specified action is forbidden.